Have you ever looked up at a big airplane in the sky and wondered, how does that giant thing stay up there? It seems like magic, doesn't it? Well, it's not magic, it's science. Airplanes fly because of some really cool scientific principles and clever engineering. Let's become junior aviators and learn about how airplanes soar through the air. First, let's meet the parts of an airplane that make flying possible. Each part has a unique role, working together to ensure a smooth and safe flight. Think of an airplane like a bird. Just as birds have specialized body parts for flight, airplanes are designed with specific components to help them soar through the skies. The wings, like a bird's wings, are the most important part. They provide the necessary lift to keep the airplane in the air. They are specially shaped to make air flow over and under them in a way that creates lift, the force that pushes the airplane up. Without this lift, the airplane wouldn't be able to leave the ground. Then we have the engines. These powerful machines are essential for flight. They're like the airplane's strong muscles, providing the power to move it forward. The engines generate thrust, propelling the airplane through the air. Next comes the tail. Similar to a bird's tail feathers, the tail helps steer the plane and keeps it stable in the air. It ensures the airplane flies straight and can make smooth turns. And finally, we have the cockpit. This is the command center of the airplane. That's where the pilots sit and control the airplane, just like the captain steers a ship. The pilots use various instruments and controls to navigate and ensure a safe journey for everyone on board. Now, let's talk about those cool scientific principles I mentioned earlier. These principles are the foundation of how airplanes and other flying machines stay in the air. They are known as the four forces of flight lift, thrust, drag, and gravity. Each of these forces plays a crucial role in the mechanics of flight. Remember how we said the wings create lift? This is one of the most important forces that allows an airplane to rise off the ground. When the air flows over the curved top of the wing, it speeds up and this creates lower air pressure. This phenomenon is explained by Bernoulli's principle. Meanwhile, the air flowing under the wing moves slower and creates higher air pressure. This difference in speed and pressure is what generates lift. This difference in air pressure pushes the wing up, creating lift. Without lift, an airplane wouldn't be able to get off the ground. Thrust is the force that moves the plane forward. It's generated by the airplane's engines. The engines provide thrust by pushing air backwards, and this propels the airplane through the air. The more powerful the engines, the greater the thrust. Think about when you throw a ball. You use your arm to create thrust. The same concept applies to airplane engines. Now imagine throwing air backward to move forward. That's what the engines do. They push air backward to generate the forward motion needed for flight. Section 4. Flying Friends and Helpful Examples Now let's talk about drag and gravity. These are two very important forces that affect how things move through the air. Drag is the force that slows things down in the air. It's like a kind of resistance that objects face when they move. It's like when you put your hand out of a car window, you feel the air pushing against your hand. This is drag in action. Airplanes are designed to be streamlined and reduce drag, but it's always there. Engineers work hard to make airplanes as smooth and efficient as possible. Gravity, as you know, is the force that pulls everything down towards the Earth. It's a constant force that we experience every day. It's what makes your toys fall to the ground when you drop them. Without gravity, everything would just float away. To overcome gravity, airplanes need enough lift. Lift is the force that pushes the airplane up into the sky. That's why the wings are so important. They are specially designed to create lift and help the airplane rise. Think of it this way. Lift is like a big, strong friend lifting you up in the air, giving you the boost you need to fly. While gravity is like a playful puppy trying to pull you back down. It's always there, trying to bring you back to the ground. Thrust is like your friend pushing you forward on a swing, giving you the energy to move ahead. And drag is like the wind gently trying to slow you down. It's a balancing act between all these forces. All these forces work together to make airplanes fly. Understanding them helps us appreciate the marvel of flight. Section 5. The Wonder of Flight 
Isn't it amazing how something so heavy can soar through the air? From the Wright brothers' first flight to the giant airplanes we have today, human ingenuity has made it possible to explore the world from above. So next time you see an airplane in the sky, remember the incredible science and engineering that make it all possible. And maybe, just maybe, you'll be inspired to learn even more about the magic of flight.